feel like I'm almost nervous to film this, but here we go. Manifesting a specific person is one of the top two questions that I get asked about pretty much all of the time. It honestly might even be the number one question or tied with it is, can I manifest for someone else? So let's talk about it. How does it work? And what are you supposed to do? Well, in this video, I am sharing it all. And what I'm gonna share with you is probably going to change everything in the way that you approach this. I can almost guarantee that there is no other video on this topic like the way that I'm about to explain it. But this approach is extremely important, so let's get into it. And really quickly before we do, if you're new here, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more, where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every single Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Now let's get right into manifesting a specific person. So I find that when people ask me manifestation questions, a lot of it gets very specific. For example, how do I manifest this amount of money? How do I manifest this specific house? What technique do I use to manifest this person or this circumstance? And you, the list goes on and on. It's all very specific related. So the first thing that I wanna clear up is in reality, the way that you manifest one thing is the way that you manifest anything. It doesn't work any differently, a car versus a house versus a relationship, because you are always manifesting at all times. But what you're manifesting comes from your beliefs, your actions, and mainly your subconscious programming. Because subconscious programming runs about 95% of your life on autopilot without you even being aware of it. So I wouldn't say there's necessarily a different way that you manifest a car versus how you manifest money versus how you manifest a job versus how you manifest a person or relationship. Essentially, the way that you manifest one thing is the way that you manifest anything. So don't get too caught up in specifics thinking you have to use a different technique or you have to hop on your foot three times to manifest this. Like, no, I feel like that's where the law of attraction kind of gets a bad rap. They think that it's some kind of mystical woo woo thing that I don't even know how to explain it. Do you see what I mean? I like to approach manifestation from a brain-based, science-based way that actually shows you how it works. It's all of the same energetic steps. It's all of the same shifts and beliefs. It's all of the same rewiring your programming. It's all the same but your approach might be different for each thing. And that's totally normal because different things are going to need to be shifted for each thing that you're manifesting. Certain things have more resistance around it than others. Certain things might feel bigger or harder or smaller and easier to manifest. Do you ever notice how manifesting five, $10 versus manifesting a million dollars feels very differently? There's a lot of resistance you have to shift around that million dollars because your programming doesn't support it. Do you see what I'm saying? So your approach might feel different for very specific things, but essentially it's all of the same major steps. And it's really all based off your subconscious programming, like I mentioned, what you were told, what you were taught, things that you experienced mainly within the first seven years of your life. You only believe that something is harder or bigger or smaller and easier based on your subconscious programming because it's all just your beliefs. Nothing is actually bigger or smaller. Nothing is actually easier or harder. That is just your opinion based on your beliefs. Does that make sense? It's really important that you understand this. So when it comes to manifesting a specific person, the first and most important thing to focus on is this. The most important thing to focus on is the why. What would being with this specific person provide for you? What is the reasoning behind why you actually want this? because it's never about the thing you want, it's about what that thing would provide for you. So would this relationship that you're looking for provide excitement? Would it provide fulfillment? Would it provide adventure? Would it provide status? Get honest with yourself. What would having this relationship, this specific person provide for you? Start there, because when you're really honest and transparent about it, it really doesn't have anything to do with that specific person. It has to do with what they specifically provide for you. So that, is your jumping off point. Because right about here in the video is where it's about to get interesting. This right here is going to be the information and perspective that you probably haven't heard before or might not want to hear, but here we go. Let's get honest 
and real for a second. In manifestation, I don't love the idea of manifesting on behalf of or manifesting something for someone. And here's why. While I do believe that you can hold the space for someone you love to receive something great, or while I do believe you can hold the space for something that you desire to occur for someone, and while you can also support their dreams and hold the space for them for something that they want energetically to happen, I also believe in free will. I believe in everyone having their own space to call in and co-create the life and experiences that they want without someone else interfering. Because the truth is, everyone is on their own path. Everyone has their own hopes, wants, goals, dreams. And also, everyone has their own lessons, their own journey, the things that they have to go through in order to get to the next level in their life. And interfering with that, well, to be honest, it's not up to you. They are co-creating their own life. I mean, imagine if you had another person out there trying to manipulate and control your hopes and goals and dreams. It wouldn't feel very good, and I'm sure you wouldn't be really happy about it. And while there may be the best intentions behind it, you have to respect that everyone has their own path. And while you may or may not agree, hear me out on this. The other truth is, is that you don't know what you don't know. Some of you maybe just rolled your eyes. But what if that specific person would put you on a totally different path or timeline, going against all the things that you're trying to create? Or what if by focusing only on this specific person, you actually miss out on an even better person or someone who is your actual soulmate? You are limiting yourself by getting so specific. And honestly, you really just don't know what you don't know. There's beauty in that. It's the truth. I know so many people aren't a fan of that idea, but it's true. How do you know what's best for someone? I really just don't love that idea of putting oneself into that position of power when it comes to someone else's life and experience, to their goals and dreams, to their wants and desires. I feel like that's sacred and should be protected. If you love that person, if you desire to be with them, let them co-create their own world and what's meant to be will be. Because you get a say in your reality. You have the power to co-create your world, your hopes, goals, dreams, experiences. So why get caught up on focusing on one specific person? And instead, decide the why. Why do you want this specific person in the first place? And once you get clear on that feeling of what it is that you think that this specific person would provide, hone in on that experience that you wanna create. Open yourself up for a relationship with that feeling or better. Open yourself up to having your expectations be exceeded. Let go of gripping onto and controlling the outcome and instead let it be from a place of ease. Because in ease, there is power. In ease, there are answers and guidance. In ease, everything can flow to you so much quicker when you aren't energetically blocking it. So that right there is my answer. And honestly, I really hope it provided a ton of clarity and actionable steps on how to attract a relationship or partnership even better than you may have expected. And maybe even play around with the affirmation that I am only available for my expectations to be exceeded. That opens you up for even better than you thought possible. And you don't need to give up hope because if that specific person is meant for you, if it does end up being your person and they have you in their energy and they have you on their timeline with their hopes and goals and dreams, then it will be. And in the meantime, why limit yourself? when something even better might be available. Let yourself be surprised by the magic and how it all unfolds. So if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment below. I really do love hearing from you and I do read through all of these. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok. And if you wanna learn more about me, my programs, how to work with me and more, you can visit my website at mkmagicmindset.com and I will see you in the next one.